Right, turn back now if you don't want to watch a, an old movie um, uh, about a geography field trip or if you didn't go to Bryanston School. Frankly, if you don't fall into one of those two categories, I think you're likely to find this quite dull. All right, there's Paul George, also known as Horizon Man. What's he up to? Oh, my... my what? Yo, uh, oh, how he impressed us. Right, now brace yourselves. You're about to see me. Yes, well, I, I, hope, I hope you were braced. And uh, here I'm examining a massive stone fortress. You see, it's a great impenetrable wall of rock in front of me. How on earth am I going to gain entry? Well, with a bit of subtle acting... See the subtlety there? Um, I draw attention to the fact that I've just noticed a big door at the bottom. So there I am, clutching my red geography folder. Oh, hold the camera still! That's amateurs for you. They, they think that they've got a, a camera that can pan about and they can walk about with it. They think they ought to. You'll notice from the haze that it's been hot for several days on the trot and we're all very sweaty. Uh, helicopter? Will it crash? No. Miss. Bit of soil creep there. Oh, that shot's ruined by the telecine. In the original cine film, you can see his face really well in the rearview mirror. It looks really good. Right, now I want you to understand that I never looked that young, nor was my hair ever that curly. Very good geography teacher beard in the background there. Right, there's John Potts there, Tim Schoons, there's Dave Allen. Uh, I'm not sure who the girl is. I think it might be Philippa Davies. Oh, we were all admirers of Rosanna Friedberger's bottom. Well, I know I was. Um, Mr. Whitaker there in his incredibly tight jeans, uh, videoing Mr. Weatherly, which I think is a very good name for a geography teacher. And how come they get video and I have to use cine? There's no justice. Anyway, quite a view of the Brecon beacons there. I think you'll agree. Here I am rolling down the hill, much to the amusement of my classmates. Now, that was quite a hairy place to stand. And that's why. And it was windy too. I think if you fell down there, you'd get one hell of a graze. Another view. And... Another view. Well, when you walked all the way up there in really hot weather, you'd think you ought to photograph the view, frankly. Uh, running sheep. Someone probably shouted mint sauce. That's the traditional thing. Right, now, it was blisteringly hot. And every single day, the teacher said to us, well, it may seem hot, but, you know, the weather can turn on you. Oh, yes, it can. So make sure you've got your wind cheaters and your woolies and your gloves and your big boots and all the rest of it. So we sweated up to the summit and then stripped off and uh, took river measurements. We're trying to work out how much water's flowing through there and how much sediment it's carrying. That looks like Tobin Lambert. Um, and yes, it was terribly hot. Uh, Katie Reed there. Oh, and here I am running through the woods. Dam, dam, ba dam, ba dam, dam, da dam. Doubtless with the theme tu music from uh, The Empire Strikes, Strikes Back in my mind and uh, not realising that it looks a bit rubbish. Can we, can we stop it? Thank you. Henrietta Allen there, revealing Merthyr Tidvill. Ooh, the industry. And uh, that was Paul George again. There's the hotel where we stayed. Now you're about to see some rather contrasting uh, reactions to the camera. Jim Robinson at the back is very is very pleased and uh, Chloe Jolovitz, later head girl, and Sarah Lawson, not so keen. You see there he is, keen. The other two, whoop, not so keen. Uh, there's the back of the school there. And there you go, the end.